Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today is Susie Shane from uh, Burby Derby. The 14th annual Burby Derby it is. The 14th annual Burby Derby, and I've been involved in every single one of them. Really? Yes, either as a runner or as a volunteer or both. Let's throw a side question here. Uh, when I was going through some of the video that we've taken throughout the years, how many years have there been snow on the ground? Ooh, that's a question I can't answer, but I'd say probably no more than two or three. Yeah, we had one year where, our, and we have some, we'll show you some of the video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, as we're talking about the event, but uh, knock on wood, the, it's been, for the most part, it's been generally pretty good. Honestly, if we had weather like today, even though it's a little drizzly and 50 degrees, I think that'd be a really good day. Yeah, better than 90 or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the coldest we've ever had is minus 20 with wind chill, and we still had people signing up the day of the race. That's awesome. It is awesome, yeah. All right, so what we're, uh, we've, we've got to find out about this race this year. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening, such a fun, fun event, fun idea. Um, set us up for uh, what, we, what we can expect this year. So every year we try to come up with one or two things that are special and a little different than the year before. Um, you know, we continue to have our lead sponsor, which is CDW. They've been our sponsor for the last 10 years. Um, but we've brought on another new sponsor, and that is American Family. And big news, American Family's uh, sponsoring the food and the photos. So you can expect upgraded um, food at the finish line, which I know some of us uh, have asked for. Uh, and then also pre-race photos for teams. So if you're part of a team, you can get your photo taken. And then a special gift from us at the Burby Derby this year. Um, I won't uncover it, but I'll just say it replaces the gloves. And I think Ooh. people will be happy with it. Yeah, and uh, we're looking at some of the videos from the, the past years. Um, what other uh, pre-events do you have before, uh, before race actually kicks off? So I, we always serve coffee ahead of time. Um, and that's you know very popular, particularly if it's a little chilly. Uh, and then we have Orange Shoe Jim that comes in and does a warm up. And they'll start that warm up right around eight o'clock. It gets everybody kind of jazzed up for the race itself, uh, gets people a little limber, um, and gives everybody a chance just to get excited before the gun goes off. Uh, past years, what's what have been our totals of uh, people taking part, whether it's the run, the walk, uh, what do we got for numbers there? Yeah, so last year we had just shy of 6,200 people. Wow. Um, our all-time high was right around 8,000. And you know we've seen a bit of a decline since then, primarily because there are other races in town, um, which is unfortunate. But uh, we expect 6,500 this year. We're trying about 250 people ahead of where we were last year at this time. And I think it's you know primarily because people are getting really psyched for our team concept, and they're building big teams. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I love the, the family side of this too. Uh, yeah. We've talked to several people at this race that come down. Love the people who wear the turkey hats. First off, that's yeah. just the best. Yeah. But uh, talk about the family uh, component to this because uh, I think that's pretty impressive as well. Yeah, I would. There's a few things. I mean, last year we had a family uh, grandfather, 85, from Arizona, had never done a 5K anything in his entire life, and he and his entire family got together to do the 5K walk. So you had the 85-year-old grandfather, and you had this little girl, you know, who is obviously probably a great-granddaughter of his all doing it together, and that was really special. Um, this year, we have a really special story that we're um, developing, really, and that is we had two women contact us locally, and they wanted to do a virtual 5K with their husbands, who happen to be located in the Middle East um, in the Army. And so that kind of morphed into a big deal. So in my, the back of my car right now, I have goodie bags that I'm sending over to the Middle East for 30 plus soldiers. And we have about another 45 to 50 people locally that are spouses and family members of those that are deployed. And you know, if you're out there and you see a team called hashtag deployment strong, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I think you should give them a big cheer because they're very, very excited to do this virtually with their husbands. Yeah, I, uh, when we talked about this earlier, I just uh, just gives me chills. Just that uh, yeah. you know that 
this is happening and uh, you know thank you to those family members who uh, you know their, yeah. their spouses yeah are I, I think it's, it's at a time where you know everybody's kind of like a little disgruntled over this and that it's nice to see a story where it's a bunch of family members coming together even though they're thousands of miles apart to do something like this and my parents were both in World War II so this has got a lot of meaning for me too absolutely and sticking on the the, the feel-good part of this let's talk about those donations and what this race is all about yeah so um, the Technology Education Foundation is our source of giving out grant money to the community and it really does stay in the community last year we gave out eighty eight thousand dollars to um, programs that focus on STEM, so science, technology, education, and math. And it's working with other nonprofits that have programs, and we help to support those programs. In 2017, so just recently, we gave out just shy of $100,000. Wow. And yeah, and it, you know, some of, a, some of the recipients are long-term now, so we're doing multiple year programs with them to make sure that we have consistency in those programs. And that's probably pretty exciting for us too. That's more than <laughs> more than a blessing i'm sure yeah. uh, uh, for the group and uh, hopefully you can continue to grow on that fund this upcoming year yeah you know our goal is always to increase the donation into the community year over year and ever since the fund started we've been able to do that and that's really a, it's a combination of people coming in and registering which is really important to us um, and then also all of our wonderful corporate sponsors and personal sponsors that are giving money to the Burby Derby. Absolutely. Well, uh, here we go. Let's get you set up for, for the race time. So there's still plenty of time to sign up, but uh, kind of uh, walk us through here the last month getting signed up and the schedule leading up to this. Sure. The, the most important thing I can say is if you're part of a team and you or you want to be part of a team, you need five people and you have until October 25th to get that team registered. If you uh, are registered by October 25th, you'll get your custom shirt and then everything else that the rest of the race participants get. Uh, our pricing is the same as individual this year, which is something new for us because we really feel that the team and family component is important. Uh, and then all people have the chance to register under early bird until November 4th. And that price is $35. After November 4th, our price goes up to $40. Still plenty of time to get in, plenty of shirts and goodie bags available for all, um, but that's a cutoff. Assuming we don't hit our um, ceiling, we'll have race day registration open, so you can come on down and register day of race right up until about 8.45. Yeah, and then uh, as far as kicking it off, like you said, you've got, uh, you know, you can pick up your packets uh, day of the race or, uh, again, uh, yeah, Ed. this race is because it's a large race and we're expecting 6,500 people. You can pick up your packet Monday through Wednesday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, it's the exact same location as it was uh, last year. And that's all on our website. Uh, you can go on and look at it. And if you have any questions, you can just email us. Perfect. Well, again, November uh, 23rd, it's going to be a really uh, fun time. Uh, come on out, come out early. Come out and early. Uh, the, quickly, the rate, the course staying pretty much the same as... The course is uh, exactly the same for the 5K uh, and the 10K. Two water stops, Berkeley is still doing one, so you get a lot of hurrah with the Berkeley <laughs> water stop and then another water stop right at CN and um, Capitol Trail, City Trail. Perfect. It's going to be a fun day. Hope a lot of people come out and get signed up. Me too. It's the time. Time to get signed up. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by and good luck with the race. Thank you. All right. We'll take a quick break. Wrap up the show. It is Talking Fitchburg.